RMM is Remote Monitoring and Management. Typically, RMM is used, for, uh, used by an MSP or a managed service provider like us for several reasons. Uh, the first thing it does is it monitors your computer for, uh, for, for its health. Well, you know, how good are the hard drives? Are there, are there issues? Is it overheating? Are the hard drives getting full? And all of these are small issues when you're starting, when you're talking about maybe a computer or two computers. But when you get into, when you're getting four, five, 10 or 12 computers, now trying to keep those computers uh, to make sure that they're not running on a hard drive space, they're not overheating, or there's not issues there, trying to keep track of that becomes a little, little more troublesome when you, you have multiple employees and you, you're just trying to do your regular day-to-day -day business. And uh, you know, keeping track of these computers as, as you grow and you get more and more computers, um, the RMM software manages the health of those computers and alerts uh, your MSP to issues or potential issues coming up the road uh, so that you can focus on the work that you need to do. Another thing that remote management does is it patches your system and keeps it up to date. So for example, Windows comes out with uh, patches that fill security holes in Windows itself and they do that every second Tuesday of the month. And so uh, what the RMM package will do is it will go out there and make sure that all of your computers are up to date. And when they're not up to date, it will warn your MSP and say, hey, this computer didn't update, or it's not up to date for whatever reason. And then your, your service provider can look into that further and either uh, try to push the update through or see if there's an issue, uh, why the update didn't run through. But in the end game, uh, it keeps all of your computers updated. And if they're not updated, you know that they're not and you know why. And then you can remediate or fix that. The other thing it does is it automates tasks. Like for example, if you've got multiple computers in your business and you want to say, I want to make sure that uh, my computers are being updated and also I want to make sure they're, they're rebooted maybe once a day, maybe once a week. Typically we recommend at least once a week and we can automate that for you uh, and have it reboot maybe Sunday at two in the morning when no one's working. Uh, we can also automate other tasks. If there's a certain thing that you want done in your computer every week or every day, or we can automate a lot of those tasks using that RMM software. The other thing it can do is it can deploy software uh, like uh, antivirus or anti-malware. It also monitors that for uh, threats, that kind of thing. Um, you know, when, when you have, again, you get up to five to 10 or more computers, and trying to make sure that all of the, uh, the, the antivirus is working and it's working correctly and it's updating and that if there's a threat, uh, you, maybe you have some employee that's just trying to get the job done and they just say, okay, ignore the threat or tell the threat that, that, that it's okay and they just click a button and, and move on, that's a serious problem. Whereas the RMM software will keep that in line and will report back on, on possible threats, what was found, where it was found and when, why. Um, it gives us the answers and also gives you some peace of mind in that uh, someone can't just come along and say, oh, that's okay, um, when they really don't know what they're clicking. The last two things that the RMM software can do is it can also allow your managed service to provider to work on your PC in the background. So let's say you have a, a fix that needs to be applied to the computers in your organization or you want software installed on them on computers in your organization. That managed service provider can take that one piece of software and with the click of a button install the software across all of your computers. It saves a major amount of time uh, and it also save, saves money obviously. Uh, lastly, what it can also do is, is report on your PCs. Let's say I want to know that um, I use a certain kind of draft software for my business and I want to know that all the PCs, all maybe 10 or 15 or 20 computers, all have the latest version of the draft software. Do they have the latest, are they using the latest version? Do they have an old version? Do they have, did someone install, uh, did someone install like a, a, a Facebook Messenger or, or some sort of messaging service on there that I, I don't want? Um, maybe there's uh, someone, uh, you know, some piece of software that absolutely is not acceptable on a business computer. We can, we can report back on, you know, something that's installed, we can report back on all of the software that's reported, that's installed on all of your computers, giving you a bird's eye view uh, when you get that many, that many computers. If you have any other questions, feel free to call us here at Insight Digital. We're here Monday through Friday, eight to five. Thanks. Thanks.